So, Mr. Jack, you're yes. local to Hammersmith, which is not the reason we've had you on. We've had you on because uh, you play some strangely quirky, idiosyncratic music. How would you describe it? Just call it punk, ska, and reggae type music. Exactly. Music. This is uh, this is what's so so unusual about it. So your influences, I, I immediately thought of something you probably wouldn't have heard. Uh, John Otway and Wild Willie Barrett. I've heard of them. You've heard of They're them. They're not an influence. Then I didn't think they were influence, but it had that kind of raw feel to it. Yeah. Uh, so ska, is it more the specials well, and people with punk from rock there? and ska and that kind of that kind of music. Yeah, so they, they were proper influences then. I, I remember seeing the specials, the selector, you know, yeah, this brilliant is bands, brilliant, brilliant bands. bands. Uh, Madness is my favourite of that era. Yeah, yeah. Funny enough, a lot of them came from Coventry, near where I used to live. It's about so the only it's time. They launched the label two times. It's, it is. Yeah. It's weird. It's about the only thing that's ever come out of Coventry. Um, in, ever, I think. Uh, I can't think of another famous person who's come out of Coventry. If anybody's listening in Coventry, you're very clever because we're on FM in London. <laughs> but of course, Madness, they're still going, aren't they? Yeah, they're they still are. touring yeah. uh, all these years. So um, I was going to ask you about the state of the record business as well because I've got a lot of CDs here now, Arrival Records. Now, do you have your own label or is that... Uh, I'm signed over to that label, yes. How, how, how do they work? Is it, is it now a lot of different labels, little small labels produce stuff Often rather than... Oftentimes, and they're also subsidiaries of larger labels. So they could be pretending to be a little idiosyncratic could company be, could be. and they're really owned by somebody from the Dragon's Den. Could well be. Yeah, you never can tell. Now, I like this track pretty damn cool. We're going to talk while I play with this very ancient CD player from 1968. And we're going to put it in there and keep pressing these buttons. I tell you how old this one is, and I don't want to sound like Jack D, who always seems to be appearing at the nearby Hammersmith Apollo. This player is so old that the words press and close have been rubbed off by the finger, just the light finger press. How many light finger presses does it take to rub off Probably tens of millions. But are you touring at the moment, Mr. Jack? Not at the moment, no. I like to spend my time in the studio writing. Good thinking. So all your material, you do yourself. Everything, Everybody's yeah. a singer-songwriter now. We heard Melanie talking yeah. about that, that derogatory term when people like Frank Sinatra, who I talk can never sing, who just, go and write me a song, lefty, and all this crap, and do it. Yeah. So, album... We've got a lot of good songs out at the moment, but I looked at your website, which is very impressive, and also on MySpace, which is very impressive, where you've got lots of good comments. The graphics are very good. Do you do the graphics? No, on the graphic those? designer from the States does all that stuff. Ah, uh, how, how very big business. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I guess. I've got a graphic designer from the States comes over and ties my shoelaces <laughs> <laughs> for my Dunlop Green Flash. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm always trying to do Radio Verite. Maybe you know, maybe there are people shoelace. There could well be shoelace tires. Uh, but tell me about this pretty damn cool. It's very lively and different, and it's... we're going to play it in a minute. But tell me about it first. Well, it's got a catchy chorus, and it's influenced by my punk roots, really. I can't say any more. How, how long does it last? It's about three minutes. About three minutes. Yeah. But the memory will stay with you forever. Here we go. Oh, no. 
a that's a punk ending, isn't it? It is. There was a lot of traditional. We were just saying off air that uh, some of the bands I used to like that you like to like the Stranglers. Yeah. Although they went terribly commercial in the end. Uh, perhaps. Like no, I suppose you've got to cater to the the masses with yeah. go, your golden brown period and all this uh, malarkey. But uh, yeah, the jam perhaps as well. A little yeah, bit of the jam in there, yeah. Yeah. especially singing in in London. Yeah, which I think you jam's do. in there. Mm. Yeah, but you do quite quite good traditional rock guitar in there as well. It isn't specifically yeah. punk, because they were very much against the old guitar riff. Trying weren't my best they? to mix it all up. And produce something that's an amalgam of uh, the old and the new.